Hey, sorry I haven't written in a while. It took me all morning just to figure out where to buy stamps here. So, I'm sending you something from my trip, like I promised. Last week, I was at yet another barbecue. People here really enjoy their pork chops, let me tell you. There was this old-timer there, the host's father. He was talking about inflation during the war years. He ran upstairs to get something, something he was excited to show me. He comes back down with a 50 billion dinar bill. He starts talking about, at the time they printed it, inflation was so bad that in the morning it could buy one sandwich. By lunchtime, it could buy half a sandwich. It's a beautiful piece of printing, don't you think? All these O's lined up next to each other. Anyway, keep it tucked away for safekeeping. The big piece of news on my end is that yesterday, I finally tackled my fear of heights. Your humble correspondent from the Balkans went hang gliding. Yes, me. Hard to believe, I know. I wasn't gonna do it, but this tour guide guy I met talked me into it, facing my fears and all that. But then the tour guide takes me to the hill where they do the hang gliding, and they're talking about the most crazy thing that happened the week before. You're not going to believe this. It's a tandem dive, so they have you strapped in with an instructor, right? Well, last week they strapped someone in, but the instructor forgot to strap himself in securely. They go running off the cliff and the instructor tumbles down the hill. The instructor was okay, just some bruises. But now the other person is stuck up in the air with no idea how to fly the thing. Everyone on the ground is freaking out, yelling instructions up in the air about what to do. The girl said later that once she got over the initial terror, it was like she'd been doing this, been flying a hang glider all her life. It must have been exhilarating, conquering that first wave of fear. And once you're up there, it is amazing. The best thing is that you look down and there are these tiny white cotton ball things on the ground. And then you realize they're sheep. It's not so hard to steer either once you get the hang of it. Today, when I was looking for stamps, I bought one of those inspirational refrigerator magnets in a tourist shop. It says, do one thing every day that scares you. I know you think this kind of thing is cheesy, but I actually think it's profound. do stuff like this on our road trip together. Can we? Sometimes I hate how we live in Seattle, just sitting around in our own heads all the time. I feel like it's the reason we've been arguing more lately before I left. If you don't shake the fear out of your system on a regular basis, it curdles up into anger. I don't want to be angry. Time for your idealistic correspondent to sign up. I'm so used to writing emails that it hurts my hand to write a real letter now. How sad is that? But I promise to write more often. I'm 
And what about you? I don't expect a real letter, but an email would be great. How is everything going? How did it go with that California assignment? The thing about the grape farmers? That was this week, right? I miss you. I feel a little nervous about coming back home to you. But a little nervousness is nothing to worry about. That's what I've learned here. Fear is the mind killer. Love you. Geez, there you are. Nice of you to grace us with your presence. I've been looking all over for you. You were supposed to be waiting by the post office, remember? Look, we've all got a lot on our minds since the accident. I don't have time to drive all over Mankato looking for you. I've barely gotten any sleep since it happened. Duh, it. The accident, right? Craig. Sure, it's only because of him that I'm picking you up. Honestly, some of us weren't so happy about the idea of having you around in the hospital. But uh, he made a good case for you in that altruistic way of his. Said, we're not here to pass judgment. What? Hang on. Shut up. This isn't just any kind of phone call. Uh, yes. No. I, I know. No, he turned up eventually. Yeah, he's sitting right here. Talk to him? Should I put him on live with you? No, I didn't think so. Yes. Okay, I'll wait then. What? It's called a headset. It's a good way to not wreck your car while you're using a phone. Something I would think you'd be very invested in at this point. Look. It was an accident, I know. Sorry. But you just don't pull a phone out of someone's hand while they're behind the wheel. You should have known better. This is Sky. For those of you heading south on I-169 on your commute home from work, expect some delays around the Route 14. Copernicus! What? Shh. Don't say anything. He can't hear me. Only you can. Listen. Don't say a word. Do you have that locked box? If you do, roll down the window as a sign. Hey, do you mind? I'm trying to listen to this. It's okay. You can close it now. No point in making him angry over nothing. Okay. Good. You can't let these guys get a hold of that box. He may even have the key on him, this guy. They're taking you to her, but you have to be careful. You need to figure out how much they know. To the hospital. Is this funny to you? Because it's not to me. Do you really want to go there? You really want to talk about this? Now? Of all moments? Fine. Listen, I know that she wasn't honest with you, that she couldn't bring herself to be straightforward about her feeling. I know it hurt you, man, but you two'd been growing apart for a while. In the end, she just wanted to be with someone, someone more dedicated. That's the direction she was growing in. It didn't happen overnight, but the trip to Europe and meeting Craig, yeah, that was a big part of it. Oh, is that what you tell yourself? That all this is somehow his fault? Fine, whatever. Yes, we're all working against you. Are you satisfied now? Because this is hardly the time to bring your hurt feelings out onto the stage. The radio? 
Sure, go ahead. Copernicus, there's no time to lose. You have to act quickly now, before he puts that helmet on again. Use this bell. Stop him. What? Yeah, know thyself. That's what I'm talking about. Ganathi Sayaton. Greek for know thyself. That's a good start. I know you've had a rough 24 hours, but we all have. I mean, she's my sister after all. He's lying. Hang on again, I, I gotta get this. Yeah, I'm here. We'll be there in just a few minutes. Yeah, he tried it just like we expected. No, now I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. It's time to call his bluff. Step on the brake! Stop him! Do it! Step on the brake! Ah, what are you doing? Let go! So, I'm sending you something from my trip, like I promised. I wasn't gonna do it, but this tour guide guy I met talked me into it. So, I'm sending you something from my trip, like I promised. I'm going away for two months. I'll be back before you know it. Here's a security deposit. You two came by my house, yes? See, that's, that's my silo. There in the background. That was some argument. It's great, right? I'll send you something special from Europe to put inside. Here's a security deposit. It's a beautiful piece of printing, don't you think? All these O's lined up next to each other. You two came by my- That was some argument. You two came by my house, yes? See, that's, that's my silo. There in the background. Visiting hours are until 7, so yes, you'll get a chance to see her. She thinks you've caused some kind of accident. You two came by my house, yes? See, that's, that's my silo, there in the background. That was some argument. She thinks you've caused some kind of accident. Visiting hours are until 7, so yes, you'll get a chance to see her. That was some argument. You two came by my house, yes? See, that's, that's my silo, there in the background. The argument back at the diner, maybe there was something missing for her. Find the man with many eyes. They're the ones who did this to you. He has ten eyes. He wears them around his wrist, like a bracelet. Oh. 
from this man. Help me, save me from this man. Oh please, I think you flew into the bottle on purpose. What are you, the public defender to all things living? Fireflies can't talk. Someone has to speak up for him. If the six tiny mittens don't fit, you must acquit. <laughs> yeah, I'll set it free in a minute. I just think this light is incredible. Let's keep him as our pet. Now who's being cruel? I think I'll always remember this. This is one of those nights, right? One of what nights? We'll always have this. If you ever get to a point where you feel like you've lost me, all you have to do is find your way back to here and sit down beside me. I hope the grass isn't so wet next time. I'm serious. Write a note to your future self and put it in this bottle. If there's ever a point where things have gotten totally screwed up between us, that moment isn't real. This one is. All you have to do is find your way back to me. What if I can't find the way? That's why I've made you this beacon. A bottle with a green light to show you the way. Sense of direction isn't exactly your strong suit, Copernicus. Let's make a pact. With this honorable firefly as witness. I promise my screwed up future self won't mess this up for us. I don't know. My future self can be a real jerk. Mine too. We're going to make mistakes. Hurt each other. Everyone does it. So, time traveler, what news, what wisdom do you bring from the future? That it's never too late, that any mistake can be fixed. Good, if that's what you believe.